We've got a special treat for you guys today. Jimmy Chang here, I've got Andrew the Scooter Guru. We're here overlooking the beautiful city of Denver, the skyline there. And today we've got a brand new scooter that has some pretty sweet features. Very low maintenance, an LCD screen. It's called the Varla Pegasus. And Andrew, tell us more about this. One nifty feature about it is it's got an LCD display that I haven't seen on other ones and also a thumb throttle. So we're about to open it up. I think we're the first Americans to receive this scooter. Special thanks to Varla for sending this to us. Let's open this up. Well, I guess you don't have to be super strong. This isn't a, a monster scooter, right? What's the no. weight on this? Yeah, 66 pounds okay. is what it is. It's 48 volts, um, I believe 15.6 amp hours, so just barely shy of 750 watt hours. And here's our big wide tires right here. That's a different polymer. It's not like your hard plastic. It's actually like a hard rubber. Hmm. So that's nice. That's the most interesting huh. clip I've ever seen on a scooter. Yeah, we'll see how it handles. Yeah. Then this is a unique folding mechanism that I've never seen before. I'm not sure how that goes on. Okay, so that's interesting. Huh. Oh, there you go to pop it open. There's a box of goodies here. Oh, there is a box of goodies. So it does actually come with a multi-tool with extra brake disc pads. This is nice too. They also sent another kickstand. And then one cool thing it did come with was a lock. And it looks like it's a chain lock. But at the end of the day too, cordless, battery powered, angle grinders pretty much would go right through this in 10 seconds. So I would never use a lock like that in a place that's kind of a high crime area. I would use this if I were to go to a restaurant, lock up my scooter, somewhere near me where it's kind of in my sight of view, but I don't have the opportunity to just keep my full attention on it. I think that way I can have peace of mind, eat my meal or study at the library, do whatever I need to do, but I don't have to have my full attention on the scooter. I have to say, I am extremely impressed with their instructions. Very thorough, um, tells you what to tighten up, tells you what to maintenance, and they also come with, I believe, a two-year warranty, which I thought was pretty awesome. The display is nice, though. What other scooters have we seen with the display like that? The Nami Bernie. Um, and just the aerial rider bike we've just received. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Hey folks before. at NAMI, send us a scooter. We'll review it for you, all right? <laughs> I want to check out your display. Yeah, absolutely. These displays, they're kind of standard on e-bikes. I kind of feel like the scooter market's been slow to pick up, but if we push for it, then maybe it'll become a thing. It's a very futuristic looking scooter. A lot of times the scooters that we get look so similar to other scooters that we've reviewed. They end up just being rebranded. You know, it's the same scooter, just different badge, maybe a couple modifications, but this scooter looks unique. It's got, it's got a different look to it for sure. I did forget to mention that this is a dual 500 watt motor scooter. So not the most powerful scooter but it's nice to have dual motors because especially going up hills they help out tremendously it's always a balance though between the power you need and the weight you know you know if you're using this as a commuter scooter you don't want something that's too heavy that you have to lug around into the office or um, in the class it has a thumb throttle which is really nifty a lot of people prefer thumb throttle over the trigger throttle i don't mind either one but it's nice because a lot of people pay to upgrade to a thumb throttle so yeah, we brought this over here to charge up because normally when you pull out scooters out of the box, they're about 50% charged. So what a nice way to get some portable power. Yeah, the EcoFlow River Pro. And it should buzz. Yep. Yep, so the light is red, the sun is out, and the scooter's charge charging. Up. Yeah. All right, perfect. The interesting thing about the scooter is it comes in at a really nice price tag at $1,099. Just one thing to know about Varla is they're a little bit of a newer company. It says they're based out of California, but I think a lot of the, the business is being ran from China or Singapore. So just know that the after service, it sounds like is going to be not as easy as some of the local vendors, but that is part of the price tag that you're receiving as well. But they do have a two-year warranty on it, and it looks like they'll cover pretty much most parts in that situation. So $1,099 for, for a dual motor scooter is pretty impressive. We've moved into the shade. It's too hot out in the sun. The GoPro is overheating. And so uh, just a couple initial thoughts now that the scooter's put together. It's got a unique geometry to it where it's a little bit wide for steering, 
The front has a, a unique suspension on there. It looks like the back rear suspension of a Cabo Wolf Warrior or Cabo Wolf Warrior X, Cabo Wolf King. So that is different. I've never seen this type of suspension in the very front. And then the rear has, I believe, just an oil dampened suspension. So very similar to the 010X suspension. It's cool, it's got the kick plate built into the design. So there's not a separate kick plate in there. And then the deck itself is pretty long. It's a 30 inch long deck. If you're just talking about foot space on the lower deck, it's about 24 inches long right here. And then on the widest part of the top part, it's just underneath seven inches. So six and a half inches there. Uh, the display is nice, it's big. It is not touch screen. It is not color. Um, you, the interface is through those little buttons there. Yep, exactly. And then what's really nice is it actually shows you, it shows you your volts on here, which is really clear. And then it also shows you how much time you've been riding the scooter for. When I had this in the sun and it was glaring hot, the GoPro was dying, I could read the display perfectly fine. So this is full sun, full Colorado sun. We're a mile high. So we're about a mile closer to the sun than probably most of you guys on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, you can see that pretty darn well. Actually better, I would say, in the sun. Yeah, I think so too. That's huh. very interesting. That is pretty neat. Need to, give me those sunglasses again. Let okay. me try the sunglasses. <laughs> the sunglasses. This is gonna be more impressive, you guys on YouTube. Look at this. And you can see that, right? Now I'm gonna turn the sunglasses 90 degrees. Whoa. And the polarization at work, it just disappeared. Okay, <laughs> cool. It's the coolest thing I've seen all day. It's pretty fun to power slide. It's the mechanical brakings do need a little bit of adjusting right out of the box. Ultimately, I haven't felt that head chattering that I do get from some other solid tire scooters, so that's always nice. Suspension could be a little softer for sure. The reason why I would like a little bit softer suspension is because these type of swing arms are pretty fun to, to preload your jumping where you press down and jump with it, but there's not a lot of preloading because it's so stiff. How's the torque? The torque is really good on this scooter. I'm impressed for being a dual 500 watt motor scooter how much torque this scooter actually produces. This is the beauty of solid tires. You can go right over glass. That was nice. So that's the Barla Pegasus. We're gonna ride it around, get our thoughts formulated and make a full review video for you guys. If you guys have any specific questions about this scooter, leave them down in the comments below. We'll write a full review on our website, gotscooter.com. So be sure to check that out, all right? Thanks for watching. And when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.